What I done they for fire Oh boy, to see them done they for pots They boy together My belly done the sweet plus Everybody they together So welcome to Foodies and Spice and my name is Gina. Today on the show, if you have been following the show, you will know we are going to China. But just before we go, go call your friends, neighbors, brothers, sisters, mama, papa, everybody, Foodies and Spice is about to start. From seeing the goldfishes, we moved to see the tea valley in Hangzhou. As we rode down the tea village, I was extremely fascinated with the tea vegetation. Of course, I know tea, but this is my first time of seeing tea vegetations. However, more beauty awaits me as the bus came to a stop. We have arrived the Dragon Well Village in Hangzhou. This place is known for tea. It's also called the Tea Valley and the locals here actually have tea houses. My tour guide was telling me earlier that um, the locals are allowed to have an apartment in their house where they use for showcasing tea to tourists or their visitors but they are well known for having beautiful tea valleys so we'll go with Laura now and she will show us the tea valley wow uh, this is so beautiful oh my god when you go up you will see more beautiful <laughs> it's so beautiful <laughs> and this camera look at this here in this tea valley they grow organic tea and to make sure they do not need chemicals to ward off insects and bugs that may destroy their vegetations, they stick up the sticky paper smeared with honey to catch the bugs before they munch on the vegetation. This is um, organic. Organic. Organic yeah. bushes. Okay. So no chemistry. No chemicals. No chemicals. Things. Yeah. Okay. Lola took me through the process of harvesting tea. A process she says is predominantly carried out by young girls. Picking the tea is a girl's job, not man's job. It's a girl's men, job. Because men does not have enough patience to yeah. do this job. Okay. Oh, okay. So the, uh, when the spring comes, the harvest season is a later March. Okay. Later March. Okay. Sunshine coming and the temperature. Okay, so it's not ready now to yeah. pick. No, done already. Oh, it's done already. Yeah. Oh, so okay. when we pick, we just pick the so small one. The you tiny know? one. Yeah, the tiny one, the baby one. Oh, the younger okay. tender shoes. Okay. okay, so you don't eat this big one? No, eat big one. The big one, we will cut pieces to make the tea pillow. Tea Us, pillow? What's the tea, tea pillow? The pillow made of the tea for oh. good sleeping. Oh, really? Mm. And she says picking of the tea requires tender loving care from the picker. Of course, I pick tea with love. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it has to be very done Gentle. gently. Gentle. Okay. Right. Hello T. Hello T. I'm coming to you. Hi. Hi. Hello T. I will see you home. Yeah. You are so sweet. Mm hmm You have to be very tender with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Okay. So this is fine. This can make me how many cups? You see, yeah. The fresh one ones. pinch. One pinch every day. Fresh one? Yeah. No, you need the... I have to dry this? Dry by men. Four oh. hours. Oh, the men have to dry this for four hours yes. before you use it? Yes. Okay, I'll give it to my husband to dry. <laughs> he has to dry. So where do we dry it? The process of drying is done by men and it is a process they must have been practicing since age seven. She took me to the drying device to explain more. Before drying the tea, we put the oil first. Oh, okay. Why? The reason is because the temperature of the pot is a very high, high. more than 60 centigrade. Okay. And second is because these are tea leaves picked by the girls are very baby, small, small leaves. Uh, tender. Tender leaves, okay. yeah. Yeah. If you don't put the oil, these are uh, young leaves easy to get burned. Burns, yeah. Okay. So they put the oil first. Okay. So totally for the men to dry at least four hours. Four hours. It, so they, they will uh, turn on the electricity and okay. put the tea oil here. Yeah. Okay. No glow. How many Oh. So they will first they put up uh, almost a half half kilo 
after tea leaves. Or brush tea leaves, yeah. Okay, so the, the oil the, the put, is it just to rub on the pan or lots of oil? No, no. Just a little bit oil, oil on the bottom. On the bottom, okay. okay. Yeah. And then they put the fresh tea leaves here. Okay. Okay. Then they will press first. Press. 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 Okay, and then drive away the heat. Okay. Drive away the heat. Okay. Ah, uh, then like yeah. This. And yeah, this. yeah. And they will control the men will control the temperature one by you know step by step. step. So when it gets too hot, they turn yeah, it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're turned down. Oh. Okay. okay. And then they will bring more fresh leaves Mix together. together. And then you they use a two hands. And to do, okay. okay try to do uh, faster mm -hmm. uh, and uh, to feel the temperature of the surface of the tea leaves. Tea leaves. Okay, okay. Uh, like that. So okay. totally, they have uh, ten kinds of the way okay. of uh, drying. Of drying the rose. Okay, press, press. drive up the heat, and do the circle. Okay, ah, uh, totally ten uh, ways. Ten ways. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, dry the tea is a main job. It was really fun at the tea valley. The spring water coming from the mountains, watering the teas on the valley was extremely satisfying for my mind here. A kind of vicinity I would like to retire to every day. Greenery, pristine water and a cup of tea. Anyway, just before I close this, let me take you through a tea class I attended in Beijing. Over to you. Okay. And now first we're going to have a tea house. Uh, yeah. And today I'm here, I'm going to show you a full type of tea. Four types yeah, of tea. Four different types. Okay. First one we're going to try, this is oolong tea. Oolong. Double O L O N G. Double L. Double O. Double O L O N G. L -O -N -G. Oolong. Oolong tea. Yeah. And a tasting tea in the tea house, we use a small cup like this for okay. tasting. And okay. in the tea house, first a cup of tea, we drink it in three sips. First cup of tea, you drink it in three sips. Yeah, okay. three sips for happiness, health, and longevity. Are you finish it? The, by the third one, you should finish it. Actually, if you drink, if you feel too hard, you can drink it more than three, three sips. Okay. <laughs> All right. And I show you how to hold a cup in tea house. Okay. First, the second finger, hold okay. the top on a cup. Okay. Middle finger, and the cup like this. Oh, okay. Middle finger. Middle finger. And, and for the ladies, oh. we open the last two finger. For ladies, ladies you have yeah, to open really like. Lover. So gentlemen got different way. German must be like this. Gentlemen like, like a this? dragon. Powerful. Powerful. Okay. Ladies like 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 <laughs> yes. This. And this is the first one, oolong tea. Oh. But a little bit hot, be careful. Okay. Alright. So take the first one. Happiness. Mm -hmm. The first one. What's the second one? Health. Health. And the third one, prosperity. Longevity. Longevity. Okay. That's way 100 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another tea. Yeah, this is the Beijing local tea. The jasmine tea. Jasmine tea, yeah. yeah we, we've heard about jasmine tea on our way here. And this jasmine tea, I can tell by the white meat. So for eyes, for liver, it's good. Okay, so it's good for your eyes and, the and liver. liver. Okay. A little bit hot, be careful. Okay, so, um... This is the black tea. Black tea. Uh, dinner fruit, the lychee. Lich fruit. Yeah, I know the lychee. Lychee, also going to call it the lychee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the white fruits. Yes. Yeah, leeches. We yeah. call it a lychee black tea. Oh, okay. Leech. So this is mixed with leeches. We absorb the flavor from the lychee. How how the how the we uh, like tea leaves? We put into the lychee shell and we smoke it. This is very sweet, sweet but no sugar. Oh, it's okay. Leech. It's a leeches. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Very perfumey. Mm. Here is the last one we try. Mm -hmm. Pour tea. What? P U E R. P U E R. Pour. Yeah. Pour tea. Pour tea. Yeah. What's the meaning? This is most of, uh, most of famous tea right now in China. Really? A lot right. of people like drink it. Oh, okay. we drink this one, not for taste. We drink this one for health. You drink it for health? Yeah, because this one has no special taste. No bitter, no sweet. 
more like a water, a little bit like sticky rice. Oh, okay. So, but this one is all the Chinese tea, the only one has no caffeine. Caffeine free, tea and free. Oh, okay. So if you have an insomnia, you cannot sleep well, then you can drink this one at night. Okay. The insomnia. Okay. But you want to drink this one for loose weight so after look. meal. Oh, Slim loose tea. weight, slimming tea. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And a poor tea, like others. Other tea is more fresh, more better. Mm -hmm. But this one, no experience. No like expired dates. Like okay, so other teas can expire, but yes. that one doesn't expire. Um, is it grown as normal tea? No, you see, uh, have you seen the tea tree before, tea plant? No, I have not. You see, like so a long jasmine black tea is all come from the tea bush. Like tea that. bush, like this. Right, one oh. to meter side, but this part tea comes from the tree. Well, this, this one comes from a yeah. tree. Ooh, ooh, what kind of tree is that? Coral tea tree. Coral tea tree, yeah. tree. okay. This is it. All right. Thank you. If you try the younger pure tea, the tea style will be earthy. Earthy, yeah, okay. No taste really. Yeah. All right, yeah. thank you so much. So okay. we've learned about Chinese tea today. The oolong, jasmine. the jasmine, uh, the lychee black, and the pure tea. Yeah, so um, I think I have um, a diploma in Chinese tea. Let's see what we can take back. <laughs> Foodies and Spice, Amazing China is powered by Beijing Wanxiang Travels. All right, welcome back. China was amazing. Did you see that tea pyramid mountain? Very lovely. Now, we're going to find time to drink tea on the show, but today we are not drinking tea. Yes. Now, why am I looking like a flower girl today? Because if you are watching the show and if you've been following me on Instagram, at Gina Foodies and Spice on Instagram, you will know that for some weeks now, almost two months, I've been traveling around Nigeria, attending people's wedding. Courtsy Golden Penny, yeah. So we are in Portacourt some weeks ago and I had this amazing soup. The River State Native Soup. Gosh, that's super so nice. So I took the recipe from the chef and I'm making it today. So today we have River State Native Soup and I'm starting with boiling the cocoa yam. Now, I have cocoa yam, I have shrimps, I have um, river snails, I have periwinkle, I have yellow pepper, osensuka, I have seasonings, I have ogiri, I have onions, I have catfish, I have uziza leaf. I'm also going to be adding uziza seed. I have palm oil and stockfish. So I have the cocoa yam cooking in here. And while the cocoa yam is cooking, the next thing I will do is to blend the onions, pepper, and probably some of the head of this crayfish. Yes. Okay, so while cleaning the shrimp, I removed the head. So for it not to waste, I'm going to be blending it alongside. I'm going to be blending about half a bob of onion. I'll be adding um, yellow pepper. So I'll add some water. Okay. Something I can actually throw in also is the, um, where is it? The ogiri. Yeah, I could just blend it in instead of looking for a way to, you know, break it. So they can all blend together. Okay, so that is ready. So I'll add the stockfish now. I'll add the snail. I'll add the catfish. And then I'll add this, the onion, pepper, shrimp's head, and the ogiri. 
I'll season with salt. Stir. And allow it to cook for a while. Now, this cocoa yam is cooked. It's time for me to peel it and blend it. Cocoa yam in here. Now, if you don't want to blend, you can pound. Okay, so this is good. I'll take a bowl and fish the fish out. back to it later. I'll add my blended cocoa yam. I'll add about two to three cooking spoons of oil. Or we can make it four because this is half a spoon. I'll cover it to cook for a while before I begin to add the other things. The soup is almost ready. It's quite easy to prepare. Now, something else I'll be adding to the soup is the uziza seed. Now I got them to blend it, so you can use mortar to pound or you blend with your dry meal in, the, in your blender. So this is good. Just like one seasoning cube would do. And some salt. And here I begin to add the shrimps. I'll bring back the fish. Add the very wrinkle. I'll add the Uziza leaves. I will stir one more time. And by the time I'm back, the soup will be ready. El Chris Super Oat Swallow. The last time it was El Chris Yummy Swallow. Okay, today is El Chris Super Oat Swallow. This has been in the market for a long time. Yummy is new in the market. Let's try how this will go down with this River State Native Soup. So I'll begin to stir in the oat powder now. And in between, I just turn this one off because it's actually ready. So I'll allow it cool and wait for the oats. Now this looks very, 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 very good to the spoon and to the touch. Wow, it's fantastic too. It's lovely, 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 lovely. And you can see it's actually not sticking much to your pot. This is to prove that it is gluten free. So this oat is ready. The oat swallow is ready. And 
my river state native soup is ready. Soup done done. Time to chop. Hey for the holy so that part of from the gist. So today I be like flower girl and I say now because I don't they travel go plenty weddings yeah for the past few weeks now almost two months all across Nigeria. Apart from that today we go China again and don't forget that they always a remind us say November trip for this China day. In case say you won't go check out this contact on the screen right now. At least you say go see firsthand all those things where I see, especially the Tea Valley that we went to see today. That Tea Valley is beautiful in Hangzhou. Yeah, it brought a lot of thoughts. You could do business. You could start um, bringing in this tea. Oh, instead of even bringing it, we have tea in Nigeria. It can open your mind on how to start packaging and you know making the tea culture also spread in Nigeria. So you need to visit, find out how they are doing it, then come back here and do it. All right, that said, let me read your messages on YouTube. Um, this is from our book cast you and okra. A lot of people love that. Yes, if it's gonna say that looks delicious and tempting, I beg. See my plate here. Um, sister, say hi, nice one, please. Why did you add salt to the oil? Stay blessed. I keep telling people when I add salt to the oil, it's just probably because I see my grandmother do it, I see my mother do it. It's nothing. You season the oil, you can put it last, you can put it first. It really doesn't um, matter when you put it. Just make sure you season your food. Other people say it makes the oil not splash, but I really don't think that whole splashing story works, but it's just to season the food. Okay? Um, Lisa Opera say, looking yummy already, my dear gorgeous dinner. More blessings. Thank you so much. Um, Haji Amina say, thanks for uploading. Blessing Udensi say, where is my plantain flower? That's what she prefers to use to eat this. Um, Buka stew and okra. A lot of messages and I get to answer them. If you want to talk to me too, if you miss anything that we did here, please www.youtube.com slash Gina Ehikodi or you use user slash Gina Ehikodi on YouTube and you will get to find me. Okay, that's it. This river state soup. I got the recipe in Port Harcourt when I went for the wedding and I know it's going to be fantastic. Make a good job. <laughs> Definitely have the head of the fish. So this is how you beautifully serve it. I've done a good job. I don't want to Time to eat. Thank you, Port Harcourt. Thank you, River State, for this beautiful recipe. It's quite easy. And of course, my swallow. This is beautiful, oh. as in the look alone, eh? fit for a king. Wow. Thank you, Fifi. Yeah, Fifi was the chef at the wedding party. She prepared this also. This is so beautiful. Please stick with me. Or food, food is and spice. There's always food and good food. If you miss anything, where you go go now www.youtube.com slash Gina Ehikodi. You will find this recipe from beginning to the ending and so many others. Follow me on Instagram. Okay, so that you're gonna see all these wedding where they are ten things and all the videos, okay? Um, beautiful. Another snail. I'm going to sit down now. See you next week. <laughs>